Noah Webster is probably not the first person you think of when you are discussing our founding fathers. Most people know him as the author of the Webster's Dictionary, but some people may not know who he is at all. Who was Noah Webster? Webster was a devout Christian, and he often expressed his love for God and the Bible. After attending Yale College and becoming a schoolteacher, Webster began to realize the need for American children to learn about America. At that time all textbooks were from England and therefore taught British history, geography, spellings, etc. Webster wanted children to know their country saying, every child in America should be acquainted with his own country. He should read books that furnish him with ideas that will be useful to him in life and practice. As soon as he opens his lips, he should rehearse the history of his own country. So, he set out to create American education. In 1783 he published, The American Spelling Book or as it is also called, The Blueback Speller. Webster wrote many more textbooks and eventually the Webster's Dictionary. He rightfully earned the title, Schoolmaster to America. Outside of education, Webster had a great influence in the shaping of our country in another way. He was one of the founders that called for the Constitution Convention and also greatly helped in the effort to get the Constitution ratified. He also served in the legislatures of Connecticut and Massachusetts. As did the other founders, Webster believed that our country should be founded on biblical principles, stating, no truth is more evident to my mind than that the Christian religion must be the basis of any government intended to secure the rights and privileges of a free people. Noah Webster has shaped our country in a way he probably never expected, and we should be forever grateful. Thank you.